Well, for congregational prayer, uh, we do have a number of things we need to be aware of and be praying for. Uh, first of all, our offering this week is for Heritage Community Christian School. Uh, yeah, please continue to hold uh, them in your prayers. Uh, all of our teachers and administrators and volunteers and students and uh, parents, uh, not only, of course, at Heritage, but all the schools uh, in our area and throughout Canada as they continue to uh, to work around the COVID situation and so on. Uh, but also uh, uphold heritage in your prayers uh, just as they continue to be bursting at the seams, which is a, a real blessing. Uh, but they need to, of course, uh, navigate how to move forward uh, with so many students and so on. So pray for that as well. Um, we also want to very much be in prayer for Joyce Campbell. Many of you will know Joyce from our community. Uh, I got a uh, message from the United Church Minister, Terry uh, Shador, uh, saying that Joyce had uh, experienced uh, an aneurysm uh, just last night, uh, yesterday, um, and has had uh, several sort of brain bleeds uh, over the last little a uh, few hours or so. They are uh, working hard, but it is somewhat touch and go for her at this time. Um, so we pray for her, uh, of course, and for the doctors and nurses. Uh, she is has been a tremendous contributor to uh, the life and vitality of this community for many, many years, including um, good involvement in VBS and many other things. Um, as well. So uh, let's pray for her. Also, we want to extend our condolences uh, to Andrew. Um, his, his grandfather, uh, George Lawrence Eyre, uh, passed away uh, this past week on Thursday. And so we, we offer our condolences to Andrew and his whole extended family. Uh, and we uh, pray for their comfort and know that it is good that they know that their uh, father, grandfather, and so on is with the Lord in heaven. We also want to extend our congratulations uh, to, uh, to the DeCroon family, uh, Nick and Katie. Uh, many of you won't know this. It was a quiet ceremony because they're intending to have a big party in Michigan where Katie comes from, but Nick and uh, Nick and Katie officially got married yesterday here at the church, and so that was wonderful as well. But we pray a blessing upon them in their married life uh, going forward. Also, I wanted to update you a little bit on how uh, Sue is doing. Uh, Sue is doing well. She is continuing to receive her chemo treatments and they are continuing to be effective for her. She is able to get around almost all the time without her walker. She only uses it basically when she's out on the driveway, which quite frankly is probably a good idea for many of us in this weather. Um, and uh, so she is, she is doing quite well. And so we praise God for that. Let us come before the Lord in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you again so much for drawing us together this morning, and we ask that you would continue to bless us not only with your presence, but with your Holy Spirit working in us to illuminate our hearts and minds that we may hear what you would have us hear this morning, and that we may live, leave this place as changed people, ready and able and willing to go out and preach your good news in all that we say and do. Father, we pray that you will, you will be with Joyce Campbell at this time, O oh God. We pray that you will strengthen her, that you will be with the doctors and nurses, that you will enable them to discern uh, just how best to help her, um, Lord, we pray that uh, the surgical procedure that they are planning to do today will be successful um, and that you will heal her, whether that, be, whether that be through her body's own 
mechanisms or whether that be through the doctors and nurses or whether it be through your miraculous touch upon her. Whichever way you choose to heal, we pray for it fervently. Lord, we pray also very much for nominations for this church. Lord, may you, through your Spirit, again, work in our hearts that we may discern that we may discern your call upon our lives and or that we may discern whether you are possibly calling someone else within our congregation to serve as an elder or deacon lord we pray for comfort for andrew and for the entire air family as they mourn the passing of Andrew's grandfather, George Eyre. We thank you for the comfort of knowing that he loved you and that he is with you. Lord, we pray. We pray for the country of Ukraine and for Russia and for all of those countries that are involved in some way in that disturbing situation. We pray that cooler heads may prevail and that peace will reign. And at the same time, O oh God, we pray for justice and righteousness too, even if, O oh God, we're not entirely sure what that looks like. We know that you know. And so we pray for your righteousness to reign there. We pray as well for the people of Tonga as they continue to recover from the recent, uh, the recent eruption and the tsunami that followed it. Lord, we pray that you will be merciful to them, and we thank you that connections have been reestablished with that country. Father, we pray as well closer to home for, for those who have been affected by this recent explosion in Ottawa. Lord, we pray for the families of the five who are missing or dead. We pray that you will comfort them and strengthen them. Father, we pray as well for Nick and Katie. We thank you for their love for one another, and we thank you for their desire to be married. Lord, we pray that the, the large celebration that they have in Michigan later on will be a truly joyous and wonderful occasion, and we thank you for the joy expressed by the family and close friends just yesterday. We pray as well for our Canadian churches in this denomination. Lord, you know that there is a meeting being called by Classes Niagara of all the Canadian classes, expressing concern and questions over our overall denominational structure. We pray, O oh God, for wisdom for that meeting on the 29th. And we ask, O oh God, that you would guide both churches in Canada and in the United States into an ever more fruitful relationship with each other. Father, we pray for Heritage Community Christian School. We thank you so much for all of those who have contributed through decades to the good of that school. And we ask, O oh God, that we may continue to contribute each in our own way. We pray that you will bless these tithes and offerings, that they will be a pleasing aroma to you. And we pray for all schools as they face the continuing challenges of this day, that you will guide them and strengthen them. And Father, we lay before you soon. Not only Sue, but all of those who are struggling with cancer and other illnesses in our congregation. We thank you so much that Sue's treatments 
continue to be effective and to move her in the right direction. Lord, we pray that you will, yeah, that you will continue that more. We thank you so much for her relationship with you and how she is being drawn ever closer to you through this whole experience. We pray that you will strengthen Jake and the rest of the family as well, and we thank you for their positive and encouraging outlook and their love for Sue and for you. Guide us all, we pray, in these and everything else. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen.